you're still watching Ways. And today is World Violin Day. World Violin Day is celebrated on the 13th of December every year. That's 12 days before Christmas. Now, the violin plays a vital role during the Christmas celebration and is the most popular string instrument across the world. So it's no surprise to see it having a day dedicated to its existence. After all, things from everything from the Western and Indian classical music to bluegrass and jazz would be unimaginable today without the violin. I love, I love the sound of it. I, always, I, I would always uh, say that it's one of the most complicated instruments because it takes a lot of... Trust me. But the sound, when, when you get it right, it's so beautiful. I can't imagine jazz without um, a violin and a saxophone. Like, I listen to Yanni and it's everything. Mm -hmm. well, guess what? What? I don't know anything about instruments. <laughs> Yes, it's allowed. No, it's just, it's just weird. You're the first person I've met. about instruments. But tell me <laughs> that you are exposing your children to instruments, Biko. Am I? Maybe my last. <laughs> Ah, no, but it, it's important to expose your kids yeah, to um, all music, this music instruments. They're helps. not taking, none of them has taken any particular interest Interesting in it, right? Yes, my second daughter draws a lot. The first does oh, a lot of good. literary and all this debate in school and all that, but not, Draw, uh, not, not yes. instruments. The music is beautiful. I love because kids. Because music actually does instruments. help. Research has shown that music actually helps with well, the IQ of the children. Guess what, Ansanze? If you go into my car today, do you know the kind of music you listen to? What? Guess it what? Fuji. <laughs> No, I'm waiting. Obi and Sonny. Oh, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Who is that? There's no violin there. Let's go move on. <laughs> All right, Sandy. What did you find in the news first? Okay, today? so in the news um, today, this happened in Lagos. I'm sure a lot of Lagosians are still, maybe the few people who just got home are still going through. Did you know what I went through today? Hmm. Because earlier, uh, in the early hours of today, around 5, 5 a.m., the tanker, a 13,000 liter um, 33,000, thank you, fell along Gozumbambadi. I think they ha we have a picture of it um, right on screen. That's it right there. And then the traffic it caused, you know. But this is typical. I mean, when the tanker falls, you, you would expect a lot of traffic, considering the fact that it's a hybrid area and a lot of people are taking that route. But the interesting thing is, you would imagine that at this point, Nigerians, we would have learned our lessons. Uh -huh. People ran there trying to scoop fuel. Come on, does the police have to, or uh, the Lagos State Emergency um, agent, don't, do they have to show up and tell you, leave that place, it can explode at any moment? What, where is our value for life? I think, uh, I'll say from the standpoint poverty. of poverty. Yeah, it's poverty. They were you thinking at that. I would what? thinking at that. I will leave my car and will <laughs> run. run. Yeah, because you know the implication, and yes. that's education as well. Uh -huh. Thank you. You are educated to know that that is disaster waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, so some people are not thinking, not because it's poverty and also lack but, of education. But but my problem, my problem is why does this happen time and time and time? Over again. No, but this was, this, I mean, this. No, this, this happens. Is an incident no, that it's can, not an isolated. No, I'm case. saying this is an incident that can happen at any time, as long as we still continue to have um, transportation of this, uh, uh, what's it called, highly volatile. But why can't they restrict mm -hmm. their movement? That's what I'm saying. The highly volatile, uh, what's it called, um, liquids. If we probably shift them to probably just rail. to rail transport, maybe all of these things will stop. Or we just need to change the, the, the method of transporting this. If you continue to put them on the roads, there's no Because this, or this happens if, every time. Yeah. Sorry, Lani, even yeah. if they're going to be on the road, because the major reason why it fell was that the tire, one of the tires hmm. fell off. Yeah. Can we have like an agency who, Checks. you know, Trust like me, they check them. scrutinize, oh. like hmm. proper... But that should be the job of the Supervise you know. it. It is well. Let me your story. Yeah. Except okay. you want to pass your story today. Oh, definitely I wouldn't. Hmm. What I found in the news. Hmm. Aisha Buhari. The wife of the president. The wife of the president versus Gaba Shehu, the spokesman to the president. Anyway, okay, let me just discuss it first before I give my opinion because I'm so, so, so want to give you my opinion. Now, um, she said, Gaba, she made an announcement mm -hmm. to the public, scrapping the position of the first, the office of the first lady, mm -hmm. without the consent of the old, without the uh, the president's knowledge. And when she made her inquiry, she found out that it was Mama Buhari, the nep sorry, Daura, the nephew of the president, that gave the instruction. So mm -hmm. she went to the public. 
Well, my, no, my, my take is, in the first place, why did she go to the public? What's that going to do? And she just exposed herself as a weak. No, because they are saying that her king's men are calling, um, they are calling her out. Oh, that's, I, I was going to get to that. it privately. Yes, because I don't know why, why, she, why are we in the business? What are we supposed to do? Because she just exposed herself to her in-laws, to Nigerians, to everyone that she's the weakest first lady we've ever had. Is that so? Oh, very well. She's very weak. She's and telling she's telling us she does not have any influence on her husband. How would you expose yourself? Why would you tell the world that you don't have an influence on your husband? There is husband? somebody else that is, that why, is helping why? you to she, take just He's just playing selfishness. She's always coming out to expose I don't think family. so. Quite frankly, well, I haven't really associated a lot with, with the northerners, but I know that there is this level of submission they have towards yeah. their husband. So yeah. it's possible that it may not be exactly what it is, but she's just being the typical northern submissive wife. No, I am just saying. negates it. Like I said, no, I she's coming to the public to to expose her husband as a weakling. Why? Or she's exposing the fact that she does not have a hold on her husband. Yes, it's all, it's all, I think well, it's multidimensional. Why honestly, would you there do are that? different thoughts to this, um, to this so, story, Lamy. <laughs> we don't have much of time. Of course. What would they, what would our king's men say? Yeah. I personally, I don't even like it when you have issues with your husband going to your husband's family. Yeah. Of course not. What, what are they going to say? What do you expect them to say? Well, for me, uh, oh, yeah. um, because a lot of people are actually calling her out. They're saying that if She's Aisha, if, if the wife of the president did not have, if this thing is not hitting home, she'll probably not come out to start making all the rounds. So what should we do, do to you? Do you understand? No, that's what I'm saying. That is because it's hitting her personally. That is why she's coming out to say. No, to say what? To what like, end? No, it's, she's not making it look like it is Nigerians that is affecting. That is not affecting. No, it's not Nigeria. affecting. It's affecting <laughs> our home. You understand? And she Can should deal with it. Hold on. That she should. No, they are, they, they are more pertinent issues. That she yes. does not say anything about it. A lot of people are with Lamy. She should deal with that. It is a private matter. She should deal with it in her home. So hopefully she will deal with it. She's My selfish. story, okay. because we don't have time. Sorry. Right. The Khan has faulted the, um, the CJN, Ibrahim Mahmoud, uh, for advocating, uh, advocating um, a constitution amendment to include more Sharia content in the country's um, school uh, curriculum, des describing that call as ill-timed, provocative, and unacceptable. And this um, lecture or whatever was presented during the the 20th annual judges conference at the Amadou Bello University at Faculty Zaria. of Law by his representative Justice Mahmoud Danjuma and um, I think it was themed around the Islamic law, Sharia law, Sharia law and all, and all that, of those yeah. things. So I really don't want to go into all this Islamic thing but I, I just wanted to say quickly that yesterday I saw a, a post by Ali Baba on Instagram. He posted a, a, a video of uh, Muslims praying in I think in Asaba, I think in Delta obstructing State, the obstructing the um, the roads they were praying and you know they blocked the entire road of, while praying i think we should be considerate when it comes to when it comes Thank to you. religion yes. let's be considerate it's not, yes let, let's be considerate let, let us give consideration to the next person mm -hmm. i'm not a muslim i'm not a christian so let us respect each other and give everybody you know room so that we don't start to because we always do, we always um divide each other ourselves uh, uh, along, along these lines yeah. and we should stop it and religion doesn't have to be as sensitive as people make it. Yeah, like you it said, doesn't it just have need to, to be considered. Respect, respect my space, everybody's I respect space. Yeah. And the last time if I you checked, have to pray, leave the road. Yeah. Find another corner, whether yeah. it heads north or west. All right, I'm afraid sorry, that's I'm about... Not, that's, I'm here. sorry, Lami. We, we, we do that opinion <laughs> we on just a quick word. We just have, a quick word. Yes. Uh, the last time I checked, Nigeria is a secular state. I'm telling so you. So why would they include Sharia in the constitution? This will aggravate a lot of... A lot of issues So I think it's rather insensitive to see Jern. The see Jern, you know the other pertinent issues that he's not said anything about. Yeah, so we need to, we so need to actually, it's sad. we need to, it's really ill-timed. All right, so that's all we can take on what's in the news. Up next, we have Taiwo Oke as she joins us as we discuss education as it impacts the nation. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.